Hello. In this video, we will present a simple parametric model for the waveform of a saccade. A saccade being a fast movement of the eye from one position to another. This graph shows the angle of an eye as a function of time. Here, the angle of the eye is zero. The person is looking straight ahead. Then the person looks to the side a little bit, and the eye moves to a new angle. The angle through which the eye moves is called the amplitude of the saccade. Here the amplitude is about 9 degrees. We will be interested in a simple formula of this shape. Of course, there are many different formulas for curves having this shape. The angular velocity of the eye can be obtained by taking the temporal derivative of this time series. That is shown here. This is the angular velocity, or just velocity. So when the eye is stationary, the velocity is zero, approximately. As the eye moves, the velocity increases up to a peak velocity, and then as the eye reaches its new position, the velocity decreases back down to zero. The amplitude and the peak velocity are two of a saccade's main parameters. Different saccades have different amplitudes and peak velocities. When the eye turns to a larger angle, it usually takes more time, and usually the eye reaches a higher peak velocity. Let us look at three different saccades made by the same person. Here are three saccades made by the same person, a small saccade, a medium saccade, and a larger saccade. Here the eye moves just a few degrees, here the eye moves about 8 degrees, and here the eye moves about 22 degrees. Let's look at the angular velocity for each of these three saccades. Here, for the small saccade, we see that the angular velocity reaches about 180 degrees per second. Here, this saccade reaches an angular velocity of about 250 degrees per second, and the largest saccade reaches an angular velocity of about 500 degrees per second. The larger the saccade, the higher the peak velocity. So we see that for an individual, the bigger the saccade, the greater the peak velocity the saccade reaches. That can be depicted by a graph shown here. This graph models the relationship between the peak velocity of saccades and their amplitudes for a particular individual. So different individuals may have different curves. This kind of curve is often called a main sequence. A formula for this curve is given by this equation, which was proposed by Ballot and co-authors in 1975. Here's the peak velocity as a function of the amplitude a. The formula has two parameters, eta and c. This is a exponential by varying the parameter eta and c, we can vary the saturation that this curve reaches, and we can vary how fast this initial slope of the curve is. So we would like to have a model for the saccade waveform that has as a parameter the amplitude of the saccade, as well as the main sequence parameters eta and C. Here we present a simple formula for a saccade with three parameters. The parameters are eta, C, and A. Eta and C are the parameters of the main sequence, and A is the amplitude of the saccade. In our saccade model, S of T is the angle or position of the eye as a function of T, 
and f is defined as a function of time here. This model was presented in this paper from 2016. To better illustrate the saccade model and the role of the individual parameters, eta, c, and a, we show a graphical user interface where we can individually vary each of those parameters. Let's run the graphical user interface. It's a program written in Python. The graphical user interface shows here the saccade, the angle of the eye as a function of time, and it shows the main sequence, the peak velocity, as a function of the amplitude. And here we have three sliders by which we can vary each of the parameters of the saccade model. The amplitude slider allows us to adjust the saccade amplitude. We can see the amplitude of the saccade varies as we move this slider. The dot on this main sequence graph represents where the saccade is. So the amplitude is about 20, and this dot has an amplitude of about 20. The peak velocity is here, almost 600 degrees per second. As we vary the amplitude A, the main sequence does not change. The main sequence changes only when we change either of the other two parameters. So, for example, if we modify eta, we can see that the main sequence changes. So this is for an individual whose saccades are slower. The peak velocity here is less, so we can see that the saccade waveform has a more gradual transition as the eye moves. You can see that as we vary eta, the slope of this part of the saccade waveform changes. And the saturation of the main sequence changes. Whereas if we change parameter c, we can see that the slope of the main sequence curve becomes either steeper or less steep. That also changes the peak velocity of the saccade. Notice that as we change the parameter c, the corners of the saccade waveform become more or less rounded. These three parameters allow us to continuously adjust the saccade waveform. We can adjust its amplitude, we can adjust the slope or peak velocity of this saccadic waveform in two ways. One way is through eta, or we can change the parameter c. So this simple formula allows us to have a flexible model for a wide range of saccade shapes, while at the same time modeling the main sequence that describes, on average, the saccades made by an individual. This kind of simple parametric model can be useful for the simulation of saccades. The simulation of saccades can be useful for the evaluation and comparison of algorithms for the quantitative analysis of saccades. For example, saccade detection. Without a simple way to simulate saccades, it's hard to have a ground truth by which to evaluate algorithms for quantitative saccade analysis.